All right, for those of you who are interested, this is my 3.5 liter Pathfinder. And rather than pay the money and have an intake that was already you know, made from eBay or whatnot, I, I, keep in mind I'm not looking for performance. I'm looking for that throaty sucking sound. Um, regardless of what people think about the actual idea of it, this is just what I did. Um, ordered from eBay a 45 degree elbow, uh, three inch. I found that the uh, it's actually about three and an eighth or three and a quarter inch the throttle body and the, uh, the mass air sensor right here. But the three inch I found will stretch. So I got the 45 degree elbow. And then this was, I think, a six inch piece of three inch pipe that had, it already had this little nipple stuck off of it. And it just happened to be big enough for this little hose. I think it's only a quarter inch hose, if that. Um, another three inch adapter, or three inch uh, coupler, mass air sensor, and I mean, I had the the adapter for it and the cone filter. And the only thing that uh, stopped me from driving this for a couple days because I didn't think about it beforehand is there's a crank crankcase breather back here. You can see it, it's right here, this hose here coming up out. And that also went into the intake. So rather than trying to put another nipple on, you can move it around, it's loose. I found this little guy here. I don't know whether it's the same thing for all Pathfinders, but the uh, it has a double male hose adapter here. Half of it was in the intake, the factory intake, and the other half was in this little hose. So that was easy enough. Just pull the double male adapter out of the factory intake, and uh, you know you got something to hook your filter onto. And I found this foam filter. Uh, I found out that basically there's a lot of suction in here. I know it's just a breather, but there is quite a bit of suction. More than more suction than pressure in here. So, just a foam filter to keep the dust out. And, uh, just tuck her down underneath there. So, this is what she looks like. I don't have a, uh, well, my engine cover, I just took it off to paint it. And uh, while I had it off, I lost the frickin' hardware to hold it on, so that's just waiting for me to put to get new uh, two new nuts and a new bolt, bolt it back on. But uh, I'll show you that. It was a pretty cheap rattle can job. Um, I just put some masking tape over the emblem here. So the insides, uh, it's still the same gray that it is from the factory, like that silverish color. And I did the entire thing in uh, metallic silver. And then I went back with uh, some model paint, a brush, and did the V630-500. It really doesn't look that good. I, I was in a hurry. It's got some paint runs in it down here. And uh, I didn't sand it down because I have no patience. And I just figured I'd rattle can it. And it see, almost seems like it had a wax or some kind of coating on it where the paint didn't want to stick to it. And it was cracking in some spots, like here. And But, you know, for being underneath the hood, it's better than it did look like. I'll just go set it on. I'll set it on there for now. Let's see how she looks. Pardon me for just a moment. Well, it doesn't look too bad. No. Oh. And that's her. And 
yeah. <laughs> no project is complete without an air horn.